Hi everyone! I am Lord William Pineda. I'm Michael Lucas. And, and we are grade 11 students of section Ernest Rutherford from the Rizal National Science High School. So, in this video, we will teach you finding limits of transcendental functions. Also, at the end of this video, we expect that you have learned on how to find the limits of transcendental functions using both the table of values method and the graphical method. So first, let us introduce the lesson to you. Transcendental functions. These are functions that transcend algebraic operations like addition, multiplication, and root extraction. These functions are expressed in exponents, logarithms, etc. And also includes trigonometric functions. Can either be exponential, logarithmic, or trigonometric functions. So, what is limit? A limit is a value that a function of f of x approaches in its graph as the inputs x approach a specific value. A limit is not necessarily existent in a function's graph. It could be a hollow point on the graph as long as it is the value of f of x that is being approached. So, in order to know if a limit of a function exists as x approaches a specific value, we need to we need to first find the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit. The left-hand limit is the value that the graph approaches from the left of the specific point. It is read as the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left. And on the other and on the other hand, the right-hand limit is the value that the graph approaches from the right of that specific value and is read as the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the right. In both cases, c, c is the value that is being approached by the graph, or c is the x value that is being approached. First, let us give you examples on finding the limits of transcendental functions using the table of values. So in this example, we will find the limit of 2 raised to the quantity of x plus 1 as x approaches 0. As I said earlier, we need to find the right-hand and the left-hand limit of the function in order to know what is the limit of that function as x approaches 0 from both sides. So first, to get the right-hand limit, we will choose values that are greater than and near to 0 but not exactly 0. So these are 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, and 0.0001. As you can see, these values approach 0 but does not land at 0. So we will see which value the, the y approaches or which value that the output value approaches. So we need to substitute each input value to the, to the specific function. So for 0 0.5, we get 2.83. when rounded up. For 0 0.1, wait, sorry, we get 2.14. For 0 0.01, we get 2.01. For 0 0.001, we get 2.001. And for 0 0.0001, we get 2.0001. As you can see, the y values approach 2 but does not land at 2. So we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches 0 from the right is 2. Now, for the left-hand limit, it's just the same process but we choose the x values that are less than 0 and near to 0 but not exactly 0. So these are negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.01, negative 0 0.001, and negative 0 0.0001. So we substitute all of these values to the function. So for negative 0 0.5, we get 1.41. For negative 0 0.1, we get 1.87. For negative 0 0.01, we get 1.99. For negative 0 0.001, we get 1.999. Or yeah, 1.99. And for negative 0 0.0001, we get 1.9999 So as we can see, the y values also approach 2 from the left. 
and we can say that the left hand limit of the function as x approaches 0 from the left is 2. And since both the right hand limit and the left hand limit of the function is equal, we can safely say that the limit of 2 raised to the quantity of x plus 1 as x approaches 0 from both sides is equal to 2. In this example, we will find the limits of transcendental functions using graphical method. So the example is the limit of logarithm of quantity of x minus 1 to the base 2 as x approaches 1 using graph. As you can see in the graph, at the left side, there is no graph. So the limit of the function of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is does not exist. So, at the right side, you can see that the graph is get smaller and smaller, or more and more negative. So, the limit of the f of x as x approaches 1 from the right is equal to negative infinity. So, in that case, the left side and right side is not equal. So, we can say that the limit of logarithm of the quantity of x minus 1 to the base 2 as x approaches 1 does not exist. So here's another example. In this one, we will find the limit of sine x as x approaches 0 using the graphical method. As you can see on the graph, at the right side of 0, the y values of the graph approach 0. And also from the left side of 0, the y values of the graph approach 0. So we can say that the right hand limit of the function at 0 is 0. Also, the left hand limit of the function at 0 is 0. And since the right hand and the left hand limit of the function is equal, then we can say that the limit of sine x as x approaches 0 from both sides is equal to 0. So once again, I'll explain the process of finding the limit of transcendental functions using table of values and graphs. For table of values, we should first get the right hand and left hand limit. To get the right hand limit, we choose x values that are greater than the approaching value but is not the approaching value and for the left hand limit we choose values that are less than the approaching value near to the approaching value but not the approaching value then we substitute all these x values and observe the y values whatever the y values are approaching as the x approaches approaches the specific approaching value then that is the right hand and left hand limit of the function and if they are equal, then we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches that specific value is both the right hand and the left hand limit. For the graph, we only focus on the x value of the approaching value. For instance, in this example, the approaching value is 1, so we will focus ourselves at the x value of 1. We will then look at the left hand side and the right hand side of the graph and see which y value the graph approaches as x gets near to 1. In the left, there is no graph, so we say that the left hand limit does not exist. And in the right, the values only get smaller and smaller but do not approach a specific value. So we can say that the, the right hand limit of this, of this function is negative infinity. And since both of the left hand and right hand limits are not the same or one does not exist, then we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches 1 does not exist. So we have prepared some practice exercises to know if you have learned something from our video. This is the first part. Just pause the video to solve the items properly. And this is the second part for the graphical method. At the next 5 seconds, we will reveal the answer key for the practice exercises, so just pause the video. So, this is the answer key for the exercise. We will end our tutorial video here. We hope that you have learned something from us, guys. Once again, I am Lord William Pineda. I'm Michael Lucas. Signing off. Bye!